In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the process of how the digital publishing suite works, the different publishing options available, and a checklist of things that you need to get started. The Adobe Digital Publishing Suite, or DPS for short, sits within InDesign, but DPS, the Digital Publishing Suite, allows us to publish to um, tablet devices such as iPad, Kindle Fire, Android and Playbook. We start the DPS workflow in InDesign creating static layouts, then we add the interactivity using overlays. The overlays are managed and created in something called the Folio Overlay panel here. And you can see there are eight different types of interactivity to choose from. We can preview our overlays in something called the Adobe Content Viewer. And if we have a quick look at that now, the Adobe Content Viewer allows us to scroll through our designs and our articles and our mouse acts like the finger would on an iPad so we can test for interactivity and just have an idea of what it might look like on an iPad or another tablet device. When you export your InDesign layout to a folio, the non-interactive content is exported as a flattened PDF, JPEG or PNG and the interactive content overlays as a separate layer on the top and that's why it's called an overlay. When you finish adding the interactivity to your static InDesign document, you're then ready to use the Folio Builder panel. You add your static documents to the Folio Builder panel as articles, and you can have as many articles as you like. And your articles can have as many pages as you want. For instance, the Design Museum article might have five or six pages, but your cover might only have one page, but they're all still articles. And all of these articles are held together in a folio. So after we've um, assembled all our articles into folios in the Folio Builder, um, the, we can then choose to either view it again on the uh, Adobe Content Viewer on the desktop, or we could view it on the Adobe Content Viewer on our tablet devices. And if we've got an Adobe ID, it means we can invite other people to um, see our DPS folios and vice versa. We can create our InDesign folios from CS5, CS5.5 and CS6. We can design and create our folio files, preview them on tablets like iPad and Kindle Fire and share our folios um, all from just InDesign by downloading the DPS tools for absolutely free. However, there's some other fee and subscription based editions and these come in free flavours. The Enterprise Edition professional edition and the single edition. Okay, so just to recap, there are probably four main stages from design to view. So the first one being design, where we design our static content and put the interactive overlay on top of that. And then we build um, our content so we add our content as articles and then our articles are then contained within a folio and that's done in the folio builder or the folio producer and then we can share our folios so we can um, share them in the creative cloud and we can um, link to other um, Adobe members and share our folios that way and then finally we can view our content so we can view our content on the Adobe Content Viewer both on um, our, our desktops, um, our computers and on our tablet devices and also we can share um, our linked content with other members on our Folio Builder panel. Okay so that was a brief overview of the DPS workflow so um, here's just a checklist of a few things that you need to get ready before you can start designing, building and sharing your DPS folios. Um, so what you need is InDesign CS5 or CS5.5 or 6. You need to update the DPS tools and plugins. So if you just go to the Adobe website, you'll be able to download the updates for that. You, if you've got a tablet device, 
then you can download uh, an Adobe Content Viewer for that from, from your local app store. And um, you'll need to acquire an Adobe ID. And again, if you go to the website, you can um, sign up for an Ado Adobe ID and that's all completely free. And then once you've got those in place, then we can begin designing, building and sharing our DPS files.